Hey everyone, welcome to the annual Mr. Sketchhead Christmas special. Truly a time-honored tradition, as old as YouTube itself. Yes, another year has passed, and yes, I know that there is a massive shadow on my face from the boom arm of my microphone, and I know that these glasses reflect my monitor, so it kind of looks like I'm a cool, edgy anime character with mystery in their eyes. But listen, we have passed another year. Almost. We still got quite a few days until New Year. Um, and what a year this has been. Listen, I know that every fucking YouTuber is going to be talking about, oh, this has been the toughest year with COVID and it's been so sad, blah, blah, blah. But still, it's been a year. It's been a year. We live in a society and it's been a year. And yeah, still, I made it out okay. Uh, no big issues. Um, comparatively this year. So the Mr. Sketchhead Christmas special lives on. What are we going to do this year? We are going to do something special. I was just looking through my shelves right there, which you can't see, because I still own physical games for PS4. And I just happened upon my copy of Dark Souls 3. And here it is. I discovered that I have the day one edition. And the day one edition is a little bit special because it contains this. What this is, people, is the Dark Souls 3 official soundtrack on a legit, authentic CD-ROM. A CD. Dark Souls 3 came out in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. And they actually thought that they could print something on CD and include it with the day one edition. Quite brave of them, honestly, quite brave of them. As you can see from the state of this, this is untouched. And we are going to open it because I'm assuming this is not some like super high collectible item and I'm like destroying its value. I could, I could become a millionaire from this, but yeah, this is it. The Dark Souls 3, make sure to actually center it. The Dark Souls 3 soundtrack. We are going to do some shit with it. As you might know, I also do music production as a hobby. So what I thought would be really fun, let's see if I can make a beat using something from the Dark Souls 3 soundtrack. I think it's possible. Let's get on it. Okay, so you might notice a slight dip in audio quality because I'm recording this on my camera. All right, let's go ahead and do this. God, I shouldn't have put this back. Come on, Dark Souls CD. Come on. There you go. Here it is. Dark Souls 3 official soundtrack. Let's put it into my PC. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't have a disk drive on this. All right, I'm going to have to switch up the angle here. I'm gonna have to rely on the old YouTube to get my soundtrack needs. It's two hours long, fucking hell. Okay, so I had to listen through uh, to bits of the Dark Souls 3 OSD, and I've determined that the most beat-worthy or sample-worthy song is definitely track 12, which is Dancer of the Boreal Valley. I mean, I basically thought that this was going to be the one. The thing about the Dark Souls 3 soundtrack is that it's like very dense instrumentally. There's like a lot of orchestra, big hits, crazy choirs and all that. The Dancer of the Boreal Valley is the only track that's uh, more on the minimal side. And it's like possible to fit other instrumentation in between. So yeah, now time to grab it. All right, so we have Ableton fired up, and this is also going to be a free Ableton tutorial for all the homeboys out there. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in our sample of the dancer of the Boreal Valley. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to manage to click on it and turn off warp. All right. Let's listen to it. 
That's the one. It's a little bit loud, but I think we'll stick with this. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is find the tempo. We're gonna have to find the tempo. Best thing to do is tap it out like a moron. It looks to be about 70 BPM. Uh, let's see how it syncs up. Nah. Not quiet. Okay, let me fiddle with this a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's about it. Of course, we don't want our beat to be 70 BPM because that's way too slow. So let's turn warp back on. Let's go ahead and switch this to complex. And let's go ahead and increase to about... I think I'm gonna go with like a classic hip-hop vibe. So let's go with 90. 90 is like a classic hip-hop beat. And as you can hear, Ableton very kindly has warped the sample to match 90 BPM. Of course, it doesn't match fully. As you can probably hear, and like around this mark, it starts to go a little bit out of sync. It's generally okay until this point. Yeah, sorta. Even at this point, it starts to go a little bit out of... Um, out of beat, so we are gonna have to warp it. Truly the best Ableton feature out there is the warping feature. Alright. So let's bring this a little bit closer here. That should be okay. I think we are generally good. Cool. I think we got it on beat. The honest thing is I'm probably gonna use these initial sections. I don't know if I'm gonna... Yeah, again. That section sounds dope, but as I talked about earlier, these sections are very, very dense instrumentally. So it gets a little bit difficult to add other things to it. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Hey, so it's the next day, uh, if you couldn't tell by the fact that it's daytime outside. I messed around so long with the fucking dancer theme yesterday that it was unbelievable and I just couldn't get anything good out of it. Just the way this beat or that kind of song sounds, with it's like orchestration, I just couldn't make it into a decent hip-hop beat, which is what I'm trying to do, obviously here. But we have Salvation. And Salvation came in the form of Dark Souls 2. Of course, the old homie Dark Souls 2 has come to our rescue and gave us the Medulla theme. The Medulla theme is perfect. It's sparse in its instrumentation. It has a solid lead melody. No choirs, no background instrumentation, no other bullshit. It's just pure sampling goodness. So, I downloaded it. I shouldn't say this, but I did download it. And this is what I came up with so far. So yeah, that was just a little kind of fun video. Thought I would show something else other than gaming. I've done music two years ago. Maybe that was a New Year's special, not a Christmas special, whatever. That was fun. I thought I would do music again. And, you know, just to self-promote, if you go to the link in the description, you will be able to find my Instagram, where I do post a lot more music. Especially now, starting in January, January is coming up, which is kind of like this little ongoing yearly challenge where you post some beats uh, every day for January, which I'm definitely going to be doing. So make sure to follow me there as well. Mr. Underscore Sketchhead on Instagram. It's in the link in the description. So yeah, thank you guys very much again for this year. 
I know probably there's gonna be a New Year's video as well where I'll reiterate the same points, but it's been a great year for my channel. Uh, there have been some slow patches um, because of COVID, I was really busy at work sometimes, but I feel like especially now towards the end of the year, it kind of stabilized and I'm streaming again, I'm uploading again, I'm really enjoying the games that I'm playing, so the channel should be back on track coming next year. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys for everything this year, for watching my streams, for watching my videos, liking, commenting, truly, truly appreciate you guys and yeah, hopefully next year is gonna suck less. Thank you very much again, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, turn on post notifications as always and yeah, between Christmas and New Year's I'm gonna be uploading and throughout the New Year as well. Peace out, take care and see you. Goodbye.